You should always use caution on hills and even on slight inclines. Your tractor weighs hundreds of pounds and you don't want to tip it over. And all you need to do to avoid tipping is to use good judgment and use the 15 degree grade guide that came with your owner's manual to help determine if a slope is safe. Cut this guide along the dotted line. Line the left edge up with something that's vertically straight. This angle is 15 degrees. From it, you can get a good idea if any slopes in your yard are greater than 15 degrees. If they are, don't mow them with this or any brand of home, lawn, or garden writing mower. But it's also important that, regardless of the angle, you never attempt to mow any slope that you can't back up without slipping. Any slope should command caution, and you should follow a few basic guidelines when mowing them. First, always use a slow gear on a hill, and always mow straight up and down a hill, never sideways. Likewise, never try to turn on a hill, especially when going down a hill. And never shift out of gear and coast down a hill. By keeping the tractor in gear, you stay in control and can brake more effectively. Pay particular attention when pulling accessories. Only pull approved attachments and avoid pulling them on hills and limit loads to those you can safely control. Never carry passengers on any part of your tractor or on any attachment. Depending on the model and options you purchased, you can either disperse, mulch, or bag your clippings. Some tractors come from the factory ready to mulch. Some require optional mulching kits, and some are not designed for either mulching or bagging. Many consumers prefer to mulch their clippings because it recycles the nutrients back into the soil. Mulching is a process of cutting and recutting the clipping several times. This requires special mulching blades that are designed to create a vacuum and pull clippings up off the ground and back into the cutting path of the blades, creating tiny clippings that decompose quickly. To achieve the most effective mulching, you should cut no more than one-third of the grass height at one time. Mulching is most effective with dry grass. Wet grass is too heavy to correctly circulate through the cutting paths and will result in clumps of cut grass and a poor quality of cut. Also, the mower deck should be clean underneath to allow for proper clipping circulation. You may also choose to bag your clippings with the optional grass bagger attachment. Again, the grass should be dry to allow for the correct airflow and movement into the bags. It's normal for the left-hand bag to fill first. As the bags fill, the full bag indicator spins, slowly at first, and then, when the containers become full, the indicator spins very fast. This is when you should empty the containers. If you continue to mow until the indicator stops spinning, the bagger chute will fill with the excess clippings and you'll need to shut down the mower, remove the key, and remove the spark plug wires. Then clean the chute out. There are a few simple maintenance procedures you should perform after each cut. Taking these simple steps will prolong the life of your tractor and improve its performance. Each time you're finished mowing, you should blow off the top of the mower deck. Grass clippings that collect around the pulleys will block airflow into the deck, disrupting mulching and bagging. You may need to pull them out by hand if they've become excessive. You shouldn't spray the mower deck with a hose before first removing the clippings. The water spray will actually force the clippings further into the guards at the base of the mower mandrel, making the problem worse. Occasionally, as clippings build up under the mower deck, you'll need to remove it and clean it. Be sure you remove the key and spark plug wires first. This will eliminate any chance of the tractor accidentally being started while you're working on it. Be extra careful anytime you're working around the mower blades. They don't have to be turning to cut you. Spray off any loose clippings or scrape off any thick built-up residue. This will restore the proper airflow characteristics. 
Your owner's manual includes instructions for removing your mower deck. If your tractor won't start, check the following possible causes before calling for service. Are you depressing the clutch brake pedal? Your tractor won't start unless you do. Have you disengaged the attachment clutch lever or moved the attachment clutch PTO switch to the off position? The mower must be disengaged for the engine to start. Check the gas. Is there plenty in the tank? Check the air filter. Is it dirty? clean or replace as necessary. Do you have a weak or dead battery? Recharge or replace as necessary. Does the engine appear to lack power? Check the choke. If it's partially engaged, disengage it. Check the air filter. Clean it or replace it if dirty. The engine may appear to lack power when actually you're simply going too fast for the height of the grass you're trying to cut. Try mowing at a slower ground speed or raising the mower deck so you're cutting less grass. Experiencing an uneven cut. There are several possible causes of an uneven cut. Check the grass. If it's weighted down with dew or moisture, you're not likely to get acceptable results. You may have the throttle set too low. You should always cut with the throttle set at the fastest position for full engine speed. Is the tire pressure even and at the proper level on all four tires? Is the mower deck properly adjusted, front to back and side to side? Your owner's manual shows you how to adjust the mower deck. It's important to note that the gauge wheels are designed to protect the mower and the lawn at high spots in your yard. The gauge wheels should touch the high spots only. On the flat ground, they should not touch the ground. When properly adjusted, they'll be at least three quarters of an inch off the ground with the mower in the mowing position. Are the mower deck vents plugged? If so, remove the key and spark plug wires and clean the mower vents. You may simply need to remove clippings that are built up under the mower deck. Be sure you remove the key and the spark plug wires before doing this. Are the mower blades worn or bent? Is the blade mandrel damaged? Replace if necessary. Check the mower drive belt for excessive wear. A large number of cracks is a sign that your belt may be slipping. Replace if necessary. Your bagger isn't filling? The bagger chutes may be clogged with grass clippings. Remove the key and disconnect the spark plug wire, and then check the chutes and clean them out if necessary. We have made every effort to provide you with the highest quality riding lawnmower available. We've designed it to be both safe and convenient and to provide countless hours of uninterrupted use. Just remember, your tractor will only be as safe as the person operating it. So please, read and follow all the safety rules in your manual. You can help guarantee that uninterrupted use by performing maintenance at the regularly scheduled intervals. You will also prolong your tractor's life by taking the appropriate actions to prepare it for cold weather storage. Your owner's manual has more details on that. When you have questions, refer first to the owner's manual. Should you need further assistance, call our consumer assistance hotline at 1-800-659-5917.